The dawn of capitalism. When corporations as mighty as nations rule the seas and dominate the world's valuable trade routes. With an iron fist, they forge a path of tyranny and exploitation, igniting a battle for global supremacy. From the Indian Ocean, a flood of exotic goods feed new addictions and fill coffers with coins tainted in blood. And where there is blood, there are predators. Ship. She shot through. Easy prey. Always room for more riches in our home. She's vulnerable to a broad side.
Must truly be on your side. Lad, the British and the folk be them. I blame Captain Rust for steering us into this cursed shallows. <laughs> we survived the battle, and now you arrive to help through the Dao. I would say our fortune's on the rise, no? There's a certain yearning in your eyes. I've seen the same glint in others before. I'm sure you will steer us through to Saint Anne. To reach Parrot Paradise, we must first know the way. Yeah. A logbook we retrieved from the wreck. More than ink and parchment, our fates are revealed in layers and often from plain sight. Perhaps this will help you chart your path forward, friend. Make yourself useful. Take the tiller before the damn British return. I'll work the same. The wind favors the fearless. Let us chase it. Among the scattered survivors, one must surely know the way to St. Anne. Freeman's luck, guide us. Even faster. Trim the sails. Land ahead. Destiny's thrown us a line. We can find help to get out of this place. Captain Rassler, the ship was as overburdened as a pregnant sow. We may have lost the British in the fog, but also the race against these cursed elements. See now, the Exeter's guts spilled across these shallows, and I'm surrounded by drunken sluggards who believe they are doomed to this hellish rock. And where were you, Captain, while the Exeter was hounded by British frigates? No doubt cowering in your quarters, like the filthy built rat you are. good are your foolhardy ways, if they have left us stranded upon these shallows? You wish to reach St. Anne? Of course you do. And so do the rest of this drunken lot, sprawled upon their asses. But if we return to the kingpin empty-handed, he will surely strip us of our titles, if he does not first strip us of our skin. Retrieve what remains of Scalock's cargo from the shark-infested waters. Only then, Will I divulge the way to Pirate Paradise? Good. Now make haste. Get to work, sluggards. I'm still in charge here. I wouldn't trust the officer to guide a fish in open seas. But if the bugger knows the way to St. Anne, we need to get Skurlock's cargo. We can hunt these fish for food. You must track fast! Those copses, we might have to search them. Wait! 
wet your trousers than to die at sea. Good work. I think we have enough. Those cops said we might have to search them. Way to Saint Anne. Get me Skellog's cargo. Thanks for the goods. Skellog may well spare my head, but I cannot say the same for you. After I tell him about the captain who failed to protect his cargo. <laughs> Find your own way to St. Anne, chum sniffer. <laughs> I don't owe you a sliver up your ass, especially when mine's on the line. Why don't you ask Captain Rassler? His bloated corpse might know the way. Now fuck off, built rat. to the very end. If the bastard says Wrestler might have the map to St. Anne, we should search his wreck. St. Anne's horizon might hold the sunrise I've been yearning for. Better hope the pirates don't stab you in the back first.
luck indeed. You found a way to Saint Anne and a letter bearing Skurlock's mark. The Kingpin will surely want to know what happened to his cargo. Or John Skurlock will have three shots from a flintlock wizard for our heads. Or just yours, friend. <laughs> What's a pirate's life without a little peril and mischief, eh? With the cargo from the Exeter lost, Skurlock will need a daring rogue like yourself to procure new goods for his pirate empire. And so far, your fortune has steered us true. I'm glad we pulled your corpse from the sea, friend. Wrestler is dead, and with him, all prior obligations or duties. You are free to make your own luck now, Captain. Captain, is it? As long as you don't stare us into the blast of rocks. We're finally getting out of these cursed atolls. Fortune smiles upon you, Captain. Something tells me we're going to be just fine. Hmm. I think I might even stick around for a while. Imagine what else we could accomplish together, Captain. We could build a strong fleet and crush our enemies, conquer any threat. We could defy the gods themselves. Onwards to Saint Anne, Captain. Magway! Set sail for current paradise! <laughs> Smell that salt, spice, and sin, Captain. The Indian Ocean holds many secrets and mysteries. The smuggling den of St. Anne is one of its hidden gems. Whatever a pirate needs, this place has it in stock. St. Anne is where we turn our luck into fortune, friend. Skurlock can get us started. That letter is proof your pirate worth a lick of salt. Hey, don't look at me. You're the best pirate to win Skurlock over. Me? Ah, yeah. I had my shot in the past. We don't need Skurlock's loyalty to gain infamy and influence. Only his connections. A proper ship would be a start. Unless you want to keep cozying up on your Dao. I'll stay by the ship while you tread shore. Pay no mind to the bottom feeders, Captain. Remember, we answer only to the winds of fate. <laughs> this one isn't gonna make it. The little twig will snap within days. Days? That carcass is just about falling apart. And reeks of whale piss. <laughs>
it is to stay on company ship when you can turn pirate. You're one of the survivors from the shipwreck. Your situation must have improved if you're here for storage space. Like a hard-working ant, you can never be too organized. For storage needs, come again. More dregs washed up on our docks. More palms are reaching, man. This one here survived the wreck. Sure looks like it. A survivor? Come on in, Callie. Get it done. We'll never show your ugly mug again, you useless kit. The British wrecked my ship, sank my cargo, but shut you out! Hope you're not worthless. I really needed those goods. You see, this port rises on Chulin's patronage. And that merchant's so rich he pisses liquid gold. All I receive is a letter. That fucker wipes his ass to smear my face. I send a full haul of goods, and his demands triple. I need more captains. A proper pirate, I see. Oh, you need a keen eye for prizes. And a lot more guns. Cully, I saw that little tub you washed up in. It's halfway to Flotsam. You've got spirits, but you're not ready yet. Now you want to get out of those rags and into a real ship? Then build your reputation and earn the people's respect. Good things will follow. Do that, and I can make you the most infamous pirate in all the seas. Now off you go. We'll see each other soon. Ah, so you're the kelp that washed ashore from the wreck of the Exeter. Skellock may see potential in you, but all I see is a would-be pirate with salt in their breeches. Tell me, what does the pirate king see in someone as ragged as yourself? Ha! And why would others sail with a captain with one leaky boat to their name? But if you prove your worth, even the waves will bend to your will. I expect you'll be wanting a pat on the back, treasure in your boots, and John Skellock's warm embrace. Ha! Saint Anne would sooner slit your throat than be called your paradise. 
I can build you the mightiest ship in the Indian Ocean, like I did for Skellog with his Margareta. But how you steer it into the waves is up to you, Captain. A pirate steers their own ship, but how it fares in a monsoon depends on its maker. Visit my friend, Zane, the carpenter, and he will help you craft the tools needed for harvesting shipbuilding materials. Hurry, before your ship sails away. Ujambo! You have been floating on a splinter of luck so far. To carve a reputation here, you must get your hands bloody. It's the pirate way. You are eager. I like it. But be careful. The blood you spill is not your own. We can help each other. You bring me quality materials and I'll make you the best tools on the Red Isle. That way, both our names will grow. Maybe we can do business again. ages of Ship. Looks like they 
Jordan a favor. You show that beast, Captain. Sales, we've got company. Bow side. If Skerlock vouches for you, then we can do business. I was worried you would not make it back. Continue like this, mate, and fortune will surely come your way. You are one step closer to securing your own vessel. You have come many leagues since searching for scraps on the coast. If you have the silver, I will gladly sell you designs stolen from mercantile dogs. With the right materials, you can build a ship to rival their best. My father died when I was a boy, so I became an apprentice in a shipyard to support my family. A ship to call your own and a shoreline calling to good fortunes. Speak to Thomas, the blacksmith, next. Unless you plan on ramming your vessel into the next companion boat, he will build you cannons to sink your enemies instead. I normally wouldn't give a nobody like you the steam off my piss on a good day. But I saw your ship's got nothing sticking out of her gum ports. Listen, surviving in pirate wars demands you swim with sharks. If that chills your blood, paddle off to your backwater pond. The extra crash has left us short on supplies. The company knows this, so they're squeezing us tighter. Bring me supplies and I'll build you weapons to skewer those frogs. Before you can take a point out of the company, you'll need to have teeth. Right now, you're toothless. You need provisions. You'll have to get them yourself. Now, get cracking, mate.
anvil's ready. People don't know me, and that's the way I like it. These furry cannons They'll pierce through those dainty company hulls. So, you got your decks scrubbed, cannons swabbed, and your loins girded. Good. It's time you rumbled with the company ships. The cocky pricks keep helping themselves to my iron. Blast them to bits. Here for restyle, Mocha? I can tell from a glance you're not a normal pirate. Come, Florentine D'Alesso will turn your life around with fashion to fit your rising fame. My family thinks me a failure, but Florentine D'Alesso has made a fortune without them. As your reputation grows, remember to ensure your style keeps up.
your spyglass so we can identify those French just. What is it? 
are safe and not a moment too soon. Your infamy rises. How fares your day, pirate? Those frogs barely put up a fight, eh? You did good, mate. Tales of your victory grow taller with every talon. Now you've impressed the other pirates in St. Anne. They're looking to deal with you. I've also got more jobs if you're up to it. This next job will be brutal, but pull through, and even Skurlock shall hear of it. See? Compagni warships carry rare parts that I would pay well for. Sing the ships, and the sea will swallow those parts. You'll need to board the ships.
gals of the song. Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. And stop off me bullies and he made a run. Hurrah, boys, we're all over town. And then we get home, boys, and we won't fly around. Goodbye, fare ye well. What's that? The anchor to this police sound. Hurrah, me boys! Homeward bound. We're under fire. Don't let out that ship to go. Time to get close. Take it down. Read the Now is the time to pull. If metal work is what you need, my anvil's ready. I thought you'd wilt, thought you'd cower, but you've proven me dead wrong, mate. You butchered Compagnie's warships and gird their olds, just like a proper pirate would. Steel flows in my
You tormented the Compagnie, rose in infamy, and earned the respect of your fellow pirates. But you look like shite, mate. Seek out Florentine at the Atelier, and she'll garb you up good. Fine selection. Au revoir, Capitaine. How fair is your day, pirate? So, you've been to the atelier. But clothes aren't all that make the pirate. If you want to rise above the rest, build your infamy. Opportunities of greater reward and risk shall come your way. If any pose too fierce a challenge, I'll forge you something deadlier. Keep cracking, and even kingpins like Skurlock will take notice. Sink those French ships for stealing our supplies! Don't go drowning in a mud puddle.
You show metal, young man. I can craft whatever you need. Got any designs for me? They'll steer clear for now. See would it give you a wave? Ah, good. Now you can upgrade that leaky tub of yours. Hey, better watch your mouth in there. Thanks to Captain Fuck up here, I got a French hound sniffing right up my sweaty asshole. Get him out of my sight. I could really use a new captain now. I heard you swap that leaky tub of yours. Talk of your deeds grows louder. You see my ships in the harbor. Do you know where they're headed? Holds brimming with spices, amber grease, and other delights. They make passage to New York. And in return, the slobber faced Tulin gives me all the silver, supplies, and guns I need. As long as that flesh pile gets its goods, I can do whatever I want on this island. I control the flow of coin, so I bow down to none. The pirate is always a target. We're enemies of every nation. But when do you have coin spilling out your ass, those that would kill you wind up licking that hole till kingdom come. You want this chance, Cully? It's yours. But don't you give me reason to ruin another rub. Those fineries are getting very costly. Now take a job and shove off. I want you to haul some guns to my allies, the Sea People. They have information on offer. Bring it back. Now the Sea People and I have a deal. They get the weapons they need from me, and I get full reign of this port. They have been long at war with the clan of Farah, so watch your ass. Farah ships will be on the hunt for you. I don't care who wins. Every day, I make a killing selling these guns. Why bleed for others when you could suck them dry? Some of the sea people trade goods. Others offer information. As long as the war drags on, the agreement stands. So, bring him enough arms to fight, but never to dominate. We got ourselves a money spinner, Cully. Let's keep it turning. Off you go.
Gerlach's allies are in short supply these days. Give the sea people his weapons and they'll sing like a man. Gerlach's allies are in short supply these days. Give the sea people his weapons and they'll sing like a man. Hello, pirate. Long have the French robbed us of our relics. I want nothing more than to bring them home. This will help. Without our charts, we are unable to divine what the future holds. Would you help us to locate those lost scrolls? the waves guide you.
You see Kadil? You enter our warrior's camp unguarded and with weapons sheathed. A wise choice. But our eyes are still upon you. So, what brings you here? State your answer plainly. Or you find your flowery tongue ripped from your mouth. An eager warrior, much like our own. But you have no one to vouch for your skill. Rogues like you often favor the sea people. If you are here as an instrument of the treachery, Hutapaha Nai Nilohana Rio. But if you prove true to your words, for you. Come, let us reach a deal with fair terms. The winds favor you. As I'm a doubt, our warriors keep us safe. You are a stranger, and I do not seek to know you. Up with you. We share no common cause.
Come closer, Captain. Good day. Another time, Captain. You dealt him a right scraggy. The ship was choking on his own team. The Kerr leaves a brother to die and lays claim to his position. Yes? Thank you, Captain. Hunting wild game is not an easy task. Are you sure you're up to it? Blessings of Razan be upon you. You saw the Lenatra ruins. My good coin off that place. You looking for the spoils of the shadow? Don't bother. It's scattered farther from here than the coward who stole it. People call Uriko Freeman a, a hero, a freedom fighter. Well, he was a charlatan, and he sold us all a lie. That prick never intended to share the treasure. Pirate code my ass. My job for the heist was to smuggle weapons and supplies to Lenitra. When I served my purpose, Freeman cast me aside. All that treasure, and not even a scrap for old John Skurlock. One day, this den at St. Anne will be far greater than Lenitra. And it's gonna be my name on everyone's lips. What she brought back, it speaks of a, of a trade deal between the French and Farah. Compagnie agents wooing the Farah clan with guns. But why, why would the Farah stoop so low? to become French puppets. There has to be someone else on offer. This alliance threatens everything. We must put an end to it. I'd love to watch their guts come spilling out. But killing them only delays an agreement. We must cut deeper. My two enemies are busy flirting, and the sea people merchants hear of it before I do. Have my agents turned blind and deaf? The compagnie moves swiftly in the shadows, and we still have the sun in our eyes. Done good work, Cully. 
And when I'm done beating the information out of my agents, I'll have more for you. The Compagnie Royale has a presence in the Red House. And their merchants carry stolen spices, perfumes, and luxuries from the Indian Ocean. I want you to rob those arrogant fucks. They spit on us, call us dogs, lice. Take everything and ruin them worse than the Great Plague did. Revenge? The Compagnie already has designs on running my port. Leaving them alone is a far more dangerous option. Chulin's demands are a burden we cannot carry on trade alone. Now the Compagnie are a ripe target. Slow to react and hated by all. So we do what pirates do best. Get in their faces and rip the silver spoon right out their mouths. Get to work, Cully. Now, there won't be any tales told of this feat, but you brought me a good and honest haul, Cully. Now, my men inspected the goods, and they found this manifest a little seed of rumor, one that will sprout very soon. Something huge is coming. A man of war, an invasion force, a plague ship, doesn't say. The Compagnie has plans in motion, and we are blind to them. Mere captains won't know what's coming. We'll have to dig deeper for answers. For now, my agents in the Compagnie remain in the dark. Their findings useless. I press my boot down harder on their grimy snouts. The rats care too much for their own skin. Should my agents provide only more piss and swash, know that opportunity will fall on you. Cully, you're not half as useless as my other sea dogs. You found a manifest, and also the French and Farah trade deal. Now I'll piece them together with the rumors my French agent's been feeding me. It's bigger than I thought. A Compagnie merchant convoy carrying a season's worth of goods is sailing through the Red Isles. <laughs> I mean, this changes everything. Plunder it, and the world will tremble at our footsteps. We can become anything we want to be. Get that convoy, and New York receives ten times the normal haul. Tulin and his band of inbreds will be eaten out of our hands. And those French fops, they'll be so baffled they won't be able to tell Tip from us. Oh, Cully. Destiny is calling, and our names are on her lips. Ready your ship, gird your loins, and seize that fucking convoy! Keep that fire burning. Got a new dog. Shame about the old one. Come <laughs> on. 
could end up with a shitload of French treasure, Captain. Gullock says the royal hey, is near the island of the moon. Oh, Let's see if oh, the old man say goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. Oh, he the old on. man say hurrah, me boys, we're homeward bound. We're homeward bound to Liverpool town. Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. We're
lighting up the sky with fireworks. The request to party captain. Thank you. 